Hey loves, it's Amani Rose here, back with another video for you guys. So, I know I haven't been on YouTube for probably like three years now, and stuff like that. You know, but we back, we're improved, we're better. We're gonna be dropping these bangers, so make sure you comment down below what type of videos you guys would like to see. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and Snapchat, I'll, that'll be all in the bio down below, or the description. Yeah. So, we're gonna start from the very tip, tip, top. So, you know, like back in the day, when I was really on YouTube and, you know, I was uploading, doing videos on, like, makeup and, you know, wigs and stuff like that. So, before this company reached out to me, I actually used to buy their hair and I would just always tag them in it. Like, before I felt like their hair was good, I'm like, you know, I was younger, I was probably like 15-ish, 16-ish, and I was buying their hair all the time before they even contacted me. And they ended up contacting me because they actually seen that, you know... I was doing stuff on YouTube, promoting stuff, and I was tagging them anyway. So they reached out to me like, oh, hey, we're going to send you some hair. You can review it on your channel and post it on your Instagram, blah, 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 blah. You know how to go about hair and promoting it and stuff like that. So now I get the hair. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm doing my reviews, blah, 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 and shit like that. So now time goes by. Mind you, when they sent me the hair, I'm supposed to be a model. I'm modeling their hair for them. You know, I'm promoting, I'm being a promoter, like you would say. So, so, now, um, a couple of time, like, time passes by, and I ended up working in the store, and I honestly don't remember how I ended up working in the store, but I know that now this time, they would have me come in the store and actually model the wigs that they would, like, you know, have displayed up, and stuff like that. So, I would just come in the store after school, model and you know that's it and i did have another job with this one so i was working at a supermarket and then i had that job working for this hair company so like probably like two three days out the week i'll go over there and i'll go you know make videos or like youtube videos for them and stuff like that out of those three days out of the week and they would you know they actually started paying me for that now okay remember when they first started sending me hair i was promoting it for free they sent me free hair okay I was a small YouTuber, I was not charging to promote, because I know a lot of like YouTubers now, to promote products, you charge them, but back then I wasn't doing that because I was not really big or popping nothing like that, and I didn't really know about shit like that, so yeah. And now I'm actually getting paid to like work in their store and just like handle the customers, you know, doing customer service and shit like that. And like, this was my first time working in a hair store, so I didn't know much. I was not very educated on what to do, how I'm supposed to do it. And shit like that. And you know when you apply for a job, you know you know what you're supposed to do. Because that company, they have everything listed down for your position and what you're doing while you're at that store. This, em this employer, she was not like that. Like, she just expected me to kind of like know everything and do it the way that she wants to. Like, wanted it done. And I was just confused on like, how do you want it done a certain way? But you never, you know, step out of your like place as like a manager and kind of like showed me like you're supposed to show me how you want it done and shit like that you know so it could get done properly and how you want it so now time go by we started working there and like she was just like her attitude like she had like a really disgusting attitude and like I would work there first but it's a hair store it's a hair it's not like a beauty supply store where a lot of people is going to be coming in there daily no this is like what she says a boutique it's a boutique as she says and you know not a lot of people come in there daily or like a, a whole bunch of people come in there at one time so there was really nothing much to do if there's no customers in the store and she didn't need me to do anything honestly there was nothing to do before besides for me to like just sit down so now you know one day she had called me because she would call my phone there's cameras in the store so she would watch me on the cameras to see what I'm doing in the store. Mind you, she would do this 25 fucking 8 and it was so annoying that it pissed me off. Like, but you know, it's okay. You're a business owner, you know, there's not much workers in here. There's only two workers, me and somebody else. So I understand, you know? So one day she calls me. She's like, oh, hey, Amani, I want you to do this, this, that, and the third with the wigs. Like, you know, she would have me wash the wigs or like curl them, flat iron them, or change them, put new wigs up or wash the bundles and stuff like that. Or like package orders and stuff all, all that stuff like you know so she asked me to do something and when my boss asked me to do something I do it right away 
I don't wait no a couple of minutes after no no when you tell me to do something I'm doing it right then and right now so she called me she was like oh I don't pay you to just sit down and do nothing and be on your phone I'm like she was like didn't I ask you to do something I'm like yeah I did it already like as soon as you told me to do it I did it right then and there like I don't get it like so I'm like, okay, do you need me to do anything else? Like, I always make sure to ask her, do you need me to do anything else? Is there anything for me to do? Just to keep myself occupied so she won't be like, I'm just sitting on my ass and doing nothing. You understand? So now, she has a son. Everybody knows this son. If you don't, then all fucking well. But everybody knows him. And we're gonna call him Shitface. Okay? Shitface. Shitface. He... I work with Shitface, okay? And Shitface, he he's like he has a controlling problem. Like he likes to be in charge and control things and he's lazy as fuck. Like if a person was if he was the definition a lazy, that's him, like right there. So after a while I started to notice like he would like really do stuff purposely, but it's not in a good way, like in a bad way. Like literally, okay, we're gonna say the phone is right here, right? He could be standing right here. So this is the phone, this is him, right? Mind you, I'm say I'm all the way outside of the room. He would be like, oh, Amani, can you pass me the phone? The phone is right here. You are right here. That is probably three steps away. You're three steps away from the phone. I'm all the way around about and behind the counter. You're really going to tell me, oh, can't... Bro... I'm confused on who's paying me like am I working for you or your mom like I don't get it like I need I honestly realize I need to start working for businesses that they basically their employees is their family because they will treat you very unfair and that shit is so annoying like annoying and then that's not only one time like he did some stupid shit so it was another day, you know, and we had at the time where the closers and the closures and the frontals were, they were in like one of the little IKEA drawers. So he's like, he's in the um, drawers and shit. Mind you, there's another employee there. We're going to call her Love because she was very nice. So Love is just sitting there and we're just sitting relaxing because there was really nothing to really do because no one's no one was in the store. There was nothing for us to do. Everything was done already. So shitface decides that he wanted to take all of the closures out of the drawer and put them on the floor right so now and he walks away he doesn't pick it up he walks away right so now love comes to me and she tells me oh shitface said oh leave it there he's gonna have Amani pick it up what you're gonna have who pick it up I don't know if y'all got it fucked up yeah I want a job, but I don't need this job. If you think I'm going to be okay with you treating me any fucking way, no, you got me fucked up. That's what's not going to happen. That's what I'm not going to allow. Because, no, you don't treat nobody like that. Because imagine if, if the, the, the script was flipped. You would have a whole problem. You have a heart attack. Like, the fuck? So, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. So, like, you know, love. She was nice enough to pick it up, but I helped her pick it up because I don't want to do all that by herself. But we understood, or we was on the same page of how shitface acts. Like he's just a dickhead for no reason, you know. And he always felt like he was like better than somebody. Like sweetheart, relax, relax, boo. Boop boop. Okay. Like so. And then after that, she ended up firing me because, oh, let's not even go there. <laughs> Rewind. Okay, before that even happens, right? She felt like because she couldn't see what I was doing all the time. So she ended up moving me into her other location with her. So she had two locations. I ain't gonna say where. So she had two locations. So I was at the first one for a little bit. Then I went to the second one because she felt like she couldn't keep an eye on me on like the way that she wanted to. So she would rather watch me in person to see what I'm doing than watch me over a camera. That made me so uncomfortable. Like, what what the fuck you think I'm going to be doing? I can't do shit in here. There's cameras everywhere. I'm, I'm working at a hair store. What, what the fuck? Why? Just why? Like, this, this makes no sense. Like, you really moved me from one location to the next so you could just watch me closely? Like, are you serious? 
So she do that. I'm like, whatever. Okay. New location. Why not? Right? So we started working at this location. And this time she was selling like clothes and wigs and hair and stuff like that. So we had to hang items up on hangers and stuff like that. Do the same thing I was doing at the other location. Like wash wigs. You know, shit like that. So I was doing that. And like one day I decided like, you know, I came from school and I told her earlier. I'm like, okay, I have, like, really bad cramps. Like, I don't want you to think, like, okay, I'm having an attitude or something. But I didn't have an attitude. My mood was just down. Because you know, like, how when you get cramps and your just energy is, like, off a little bit. But I made sure that she was aware and that I told her about it ahead of time. Because I already know how she is. And, you know, we hang in clothes and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, you could go home. I'm like, why? Like, what did I do? <laughs> like, what did I do? She's like, oh, I feel like you have an attitude. I'm like, but I told you that I had cramps from earlier. I told I told you this ahead of time, so why are you acting surprised now? Like, you know, that don't make no sense. You acting like I didn't tell you when I told you. Get it together, boo. I don't get it. That's one time. Then another time. Um another time I had um like this like curly wig, but like you know, the front tool was kind of messing up bad. And you know, I didn't know how to do hair back then. I was not about to be walking out here with my frontal looking fucked up. So I, you know, did a little head scarf. I put it on cute. Let me show you how I, how I did the head. But say, okay, say this head scarf is like way more like a cute print or whatever, like a really really cute print. And you know, I put it like this. But like you know, I had like longer hair. Like it was really long and curly and nice, and I had a nice scarf on, right? That's how I had it, okay? People, they, they would style it like that, or even if they do like the, um, what are they called? The little head wraps. So, you know, that's a style, like, on the way you could do hair, you know? So, and I told her, like, you know, like, my hair is messed up, you know, this is why I styled it this way, so. I always tell her beforehand, beforehand, okay? So, I get to work, she was like, oh, you have to take that off. I'm like, but my hair is, like, messed up, like, really, really bad. This lady done make me take the damn scarf off. So I'm like, you would rather me walk around in this store with my wig looking crazy than with me with a very nice, cute, stylish scarf on? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. At the fuck all. Like, you rather me out here looking busted? And first of all, this is a hair store. Don't you think, oh, when people walk in the store, the first thing that they want to see is make sure the employee's hair looks nice? Like, because every time I worked in there, there was a customer asking me, oh, where'd you get your hair from? I like that. Yo, oh my goodness. And at that, every time a customer, like, asked me where I got my hair from, I felt so bad because she made me freaking lie. When I say, oh my gosh, majority of my hair, even this hair on my head now, I got this from Ali Pearl Hair. Ali Pearl Hair. That's what. That's honestly where I get all my hair from now. Honestly, because I really love their wigs. It's so nice. It's just bomb. And I would used to get my hair from there. And like, I would come in the store and they'd be like, "Oh, where'd you get this hair from?" I had to be like, "Oh, it's this hair." Blah 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 blah. Cause then this bitch would have a fucking fit. Like I have to lie to these customers about where I got the hair that's in my head from. I had to fake promote her hair. This is and at that, this is what I didn't get when. Before I even started working in the store, she used to send me hair for free. Once I started working in the store, she stopped giving me hair for free. She would give it at a discounted price, which was not honestly a discount at the fuck all. I was just like, that don't make sense. Like, but okay, you know, fuck it. Like, honestly, don't want to spend my money on this hair anyway, but we're going to get to that in a second. So, you know, she told me to take the scarf off. So I had to walk around that store with my hair looking busted and whatnot. And, you know, finally, she ended up firing me. I get fucked because I'm like, nah. Y'all don't treat y'all employees right. Like, I don't know what's up with y'all. That's not cool. That is not cool. Okay? So, the years go by. Probably, like, three years. No, two years went by. Two years went by. And I ended up working there again. Okay. So, everything was cool in the beginning. And then here, like, everything was just cool in the beginning. You know? Then she would just start complaining about little things. Oh, I felt like you had an attitude with that customer. I'm like, what do you mean? Do you see 
cleaning my teeth first, but I don't like my smile, so I try not to smile that much. And she's like, oh, you didn't smile? I'm like, I don't like my smile. Like, But, you know, I try to, you know, smile a little bit. It's your little teeth for the customers or whatever. You know, customer service, you know? But she would just complain about every freaking thing, like, everything. Same as her son, she felt like she was better than everybody. Mind you, when I started working back there again, this nigga, shit face, will come in the store with a fucking mean ass hangover. Hours, when I say hours late, hours late. Fucking hours, son. Like, I don't get it. Like, you think she said anything? No. No. Like, hello, at the end of the day, this is still a job. Even if that's your mom, I don't give a fuck. You have a, this is your job. You know, you gotta do, you gotta handle your business. But then, like, you know. Same thing, she watched me on the cameras trying to figure out, oh, why I'm not doing nothing. I'm just sitting down, she asked me to do shit. I, I did it from jump. Well, as soon as you ask me, I do it from jump, okay? Now, we all know, probably, that the LGBTQ community, they shop from there a lot. Because, you know, I work there, so I know who comes in the store and buys what. They have a big, huge number of LGBTQ come in the store and buy their hair and it's a lot of um trans women that come and you know i'm gay i'm a lesbian i got a girlfriend period so i'm about that lgbtq life <laughs> so yeah they will come in the store and stuff like that and you know she would have this like fake put on this fake act like oh hey girl uh, uh, how you doing ooh, ooh. trust me as soon as you leave the store she's calling you a he Period. Like, she straight call you a he, him, I, 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 when I tell you. First of all, that to me, that that's just so disrespectful. If somebody's going as a, her pronouns is she or he, do it as what they prefer and what, like, what's on their ID or whatever they just choose and what they're comfortable with. Like, as soon as you leave the store, she's, as soon as they leave the store, she's calling the trans woman, he, him, oh, this what took me the fuck out. This what took me out. Oh, they tried to be real women like me. They could never be me. I said, what the fuck? First of all, this is what I don't get. Like, how are you trying to bash somebody about what they're doing with their life and how they're changing their self? Baby, obviously you have some insecurities because you done got your body done. You got your ass done. You got your titties done. You got all of that shit done. So you have some insecurities too. So, how, who, how, how are you any better to talk shit about somebody when you have insecurities yourself? You know, you understand? You can never be like someone wants to be a woman so like me so bad. No, baby. No. No. You're not even all that to be talking like that. Like, I don't get it. Just because I'm like, everyone has insecurities. Me, I'm just caring about my chest and my weight. So, I'm going to get my titties done and this ass so I got these clappers. But, that's besides the point. So you don't, you, you know, you just don't do that when, you know, if like people boundaries and just respect, respect people decisions, like that honestly bothered me so bad, especially coming from like, I know that I'm gay, like that would have bothered me. So, anywho, oh, yeah, so that honestly bothered me. And you know, at the time, the other girl love, she wasn't working there anymore because she got sick. So I kind of like took her spot and I was working there with her other son. We we're going to name him Nice Guy. Because he was nice. He actually helped me, you know, if like, because honestly, when I was working there with her other son, shit face by myself, he would sit there, let the phone ring, have customers in the store, and I got to do everything by my damn self. Um, nice Guy, he would actually help me. And I felt that that was really cool. But now, because I don't want to repeat, because she did all the same shit she did when I first started working there the second time. But now what's the difference is this time when she fired me. I'm old enough to realize, you know, she like, oh, I feel like your attitude didn't change, da 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 Honestly, I do feed off of people's energy, so if your energy is bad, you're going to get back what you're given. But I wouldn't do that in front of customers, because, like, honestly, I, I, I could take stuff, but I ain't, I ain't going, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm -mm. not over here. So, now, this time, when it comes to her firing me, I'm like, let me talk to you. Since I'm old enough and I can actually talk things out, let me talk to you real quick. I'm like, 
how do you expect things to be done a certain way you don't tell me how to do it that certain way or anything like that like you don't say none of that so how do you expect it to be done that way okay bring drugs oh i'm like <laughs> i'm like let me talk to you real quick so you know, I'm old enough to actually sit down and talk things out and just, because, you know, I just want a better understanding of where you're coming from. I just want to understand. Like, I always want a, a why. I don't know why. Sometimes, you don't always need the why. You don't, okay? So don't kill yourself for it. But I just want to know why. So she was like, oh, I'm like, just like, understand, like, why? She's like, oh, I feel like you have an attitude. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, you know you have an attitude, right? Like, you're not perfect. Your attitude sucks. It sucks. <laughs> I'm like, how do you expect me to do things, but you never told me to do them? Like, she would really want me to do something and never tell me. Like, that's like me telling my sister. No, that's like me thinking, oh, my sister should go to the store for me. And then I get mad because she don't go to the store for me. But mind you, I never told her to go to the store for me. Like the fuck? Like, can I read your mind? Can I read your mind? I'm a psychic, apparently. Like, what? No. <laughs> so, I just want to know why. And I'm like, she tried to play me. This is why I say she thinks she's better than others and other people. <sighs> oh, gosh. She had the nerve to tell me. I never met, like, a boss of an actual store. She was like, oh, didn't you realize no one ever meets me when they come to the store? Yes, the fuck they do. You just tell them you ain't the boss. Like, what the fuck? Yo, she killed me with that. Like, she really happily said, oh, no one ever meets the boss when they come here. They don't ever meet me. You know how many customers meet you, but you tell them you're not the boss because you don't want them to ask you questions? Like, what? She really tried to play me like I ain't never meet no boss and then... Let me tell you this. She was like, I've met the boss. She was like, where? I'm like, at the supermarket. I've met the boss there, like the owner of the store. Like, she was like, oh, were they black or were they Spanish? I'm like, he was Spanish. She was like, that's why. Oh, bitch, now that was a little racist. You try a little, throw a little racist curveball. Hi, hi, why? Like, just why? You're not better than nobody. You just have, you know, a little more money. So your status is a little higher. But baby girl no 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 you really try to play me say i never met a, a owner of something because they oh it's, it's a spanish store yeah you're gonna meet the owner bitch I, I you know how many people met you and you just try to tell them that oh you're not the owner she's not here right now because you just don't want to answer their questions you don't want to be concerned with them right now like i'm like i've met an owner at other places she's like oh yeah where mind your business bitch how about that the fuck? Because you, like, why are you doing that? You know, women, we're supposed to uplift each other. Women of melanin, every color of women are supposed to uplift each other. And you really trying to bash me? You trying to bash me? Like, bitch, why? <laughs> Just why? Like, I don't get it. Like, I looked at her like, you sound so fucking stupid. Yo, it took all the strength in my fucking skinny ass body to not want to knock this bitch off her yo i want to knock her head off her shoulder so bad i'm like you know let me get the fuck up out of here get my little last check my little last let me get my little last money or whatever my last check and get the fuck up out of here because if i stay here a little longer i'm gonna go crazy I'm going crazy. Like, I was so pissed. I'm like, yo, I'm on the phone with my mom. Like, this bitch really fired me again. Like, I don't fucking. Mama's like, I told you. I told you. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get her fucked up. Yo, when I say I'm gonna get her fucking fucked up, mama, let me not do that. Let me just. Karma's gonna come your way. Oh, karma's gonna come your way. I ain't your karma. Cause then karma gonna come my way. Cause I done did some fucked up shit to you. So let me not do that. Cause karma is a bitch. And she don't never miss you. Just cause she taking a little while, don't mean she. She passed you, boo. Uh-uh. But that is my story time on working at Exotic Hair. And, yeah. Oh, let me not even forget. Before I even washed the wigs, the texture of it, it felt like 
it just feels so disgusting like it, it felt horrible like really really bad really bad like and other customers they would bring back the hair her hair was matted matted and i yo that girl literally bought her hair saturday she came back monday and it's matted how how and she can't say oh no that shit you could tell that was the hair not her because you could tell the type of girl she was she really took care of herself and especially her hair like what the fuck why are your hair matting bitch why is it matting like why when i tell you and she i honestly felt like she ain't like spanish people for shit like oh shit like this these spanish people came in here um asking for hair and stuff and she was just giving them the only attitude like she she tries to belittle certain customers like really like really belittle them like and i and i witnessed that with my own eyes and that's honestly sad that a business owner is doing that to his own customers everybody's supposed to be welcome why are you trying to belittle people who you think you are you ain't rihanna you ain't beyonce you ain't nikki boo cut it like just cut it like cut it the fuck out she put on this nice happy cute i am so nice act for like for certain people people like she she does it for a certain amount like for certain people like she ch pick and chooses who she acts oh so nice and loving for oh yeah she gonna act nice for um the celebrity hairstylist you know oh yeah oh my god Oh, but when it's somebody regular, oh, I bet you she having a fucking attitude and have a smart-ass mouth. That bitch had a smart mouth. She, yo, somebody need to knock them teeth out. New veneers in her mouth. But we, we got in this story time. You know? So we're going to keep it nice and cute, even though I just did all of that. But yes, I hope you guys like this story time. So make sure you comment below how you felt about it. And if you, you know, want to see another story time from me. Make sure you subscribe and join the gang gang, gang period. Because I'm going to be dropping bangers, baby. I am back. And I missed you guys. So make sure you're part of the Roll Squad. And click that like button. Give me a thumbs up, boo. And I'll see you guys on the next one.